Children the Fridays during Lent are always dedicated to some instrument uh, which was used in our Lord's Passion. And today on first Friday uh, of March we venerate especially the Holy Shroud. Have you ever seen a funeral procession? It's always kind of a very solemn procession which is somewhat sorrowful but also very dignified. We who joined the procession, we want to uh, honor the guests in that procession, take part in their sorrow, and most especially to pray for the soul of the person who has died. And Jesus, he also got his own funeral procession after he died uh, on uh, the cross. And there was a man named Joseph of Arimathea, who acted as kind of a funeral director of this procession and then burial of Jesus. Joseph was a very rich man who was a member of the Jewish uh, council and he had loved Jesus when he lived and Joseph therefore went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus so that he could bury it and Pilate granted his request. Then Joseph, together with Nicodemus, who was another man in, among the Jews who loved Jesus, they took down our Lord's sacred body from the cross, and then they wrapped it up uh, with costly spices in a linen shroud. In the old age, uh, they didn't use caskets, but shrouds and the body was not lowered into the ground but put in a cave called sepulchre and that what happened with Jesus also and when um, when uh, Joseph and Nicodemus took down the body uh, of uh, Jesus it's notable that first they put that body into the arms of Blessed Virgin Mary. Of course, Mother wanted to embrace uh, her dear son for the final time before he was, would be closed into the sepulcher. And there, Mary thought about the countless wounds of her beloved son and also the many sins of men which had caused her son uh, to uh, die and then she had to depart from him and the body was taken away and wrapped in a shroud and then started the funeral procession where Joseph and Nicodemus carried the sacred body to, this, uh, to the sepulcher and Mary and John and Saint Mary Magdalene followed along. It was truly a striking funeral procession on the evening uh, of Good Friday, and the tears which were shed there, they were so holy tears. And only Mary followed the two bearers into the outer cave and remained there until the two disciples had laid her son's body in the, her grave. Dear children, today when we honor this holy shroud and also the holy face imprinted on it, we should be very sorry for our own sins. It was because of the sins of the people why Jesus was born and also because and for the, the reason why he died. And because Jesus has loved us so much, we can never be afraid you know, of telling the people that we are one of his own. If you think about St. Jo uh, Joseph of Arimathea, you can see how brave he was 
And in fact, in the scripture, in the Gospel of St. Mark, it says that Joseph went in boldly to Pilate and begged the body of her Jesus. Joseph feared nothing of the high and mighty and powerful men who might look at him strangely because he asked the body and, um, and permission to bury uh, the, the body of this person who was seen as a criminal. But he did that because he loved Jesus so much and wanted to do a favor for him and for Mary. We can also admire the great compassion of Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother, and we'll remember then that no matter what are our sins or how big they are, in Mary we always have a mother who is ready to defend us and help us. And today we also think uh, about the Holy Shroud and also how we, every time when we go to Holy Communion, we wrap our hands into a shroud, namely the communion cloth. Only the priest is allowed to actually touch the sacred body of Jesus Christ, like Mary touched her, his body when he was taken down from the cross. And you, when you receive this body and blood of our Lord, you wrap your own hands into a shroud, the communion cloth. When we go to communion, we must love Jesus. We must be sorry for our sins and promise that no matter what happens, we will always love him and we will always obey him. When we receive the body of our Lord in Holy Communion with a clean heart, then truly we are children of God and very dear children of Mary too. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.